A warm greeting, today is Wednesday, September 6, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 6.15 in the morning, local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where we continue to closely monitor Tropical Storm Lee. Tropical Storm Lee continues to strengthen over the waters of the tropical Atlantic, and it is anticipated that it will soon begin a rapid strengthening process. Therefore, it is expected to become a hurricane later today. At the moment, the forecast maintains that it will follow a west-northwest trajectory over the next five days. It is expected to pass about 150 to 200 miles north of the Lesser Antilles and between 250 to 300 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. It is anticipated to come closest during the upcoming weekend, possibly as a powerful Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane. Although the current projection suggests that it will pass at a distance from the northeastern Caribbean, we continue to monitor for any changes in the track. Additionally, with the projection from the National Hurricane Center, some indirect effects are expected, which we will discuss later. During the past night, we have observed that the structure of Tropical Storm Lee continues to show signs of strengthening. Satellite images already show an outer band beginning to surround the center of circulation, and it is very likely that we will soon see an eye developing in this system. This is evident in the visible satellite image, where we can already see the beginnings of an eye formation and this outer band circling the circulation. This is typical of systems that are ready to undergo a rapid strengthening process. In the next 12 hours, this rapid strengthening process will likely begin as it moves west-northwest. Also, note that the overall track of Tropical Storm Lee has been west-northwest, although in the last 8 hours, it had a slightly westward movement. This does not change its trajectory because it has already resumed that west-northwest direction. Remember that these cyclones do not move in a straight line, and this is entirely normal. They generally maintain a west-northwest trajectory, which is why all models agree that it will continue this movement over the next five days. The exception is the Yukmet model, which has a trajectory that is somewhat more westward, passing closer to the northeastern Caribbean. However, this model is underestimating the intensity that the future Hurricane Lee will have, so for now, this trajectory is not considered likely. Remember that this forecast has uncertainty, and a closer movement to the Caribbean region is possible, just as it could move farther away than projected. The most likely scenario is that it will continue to move generally west-northwest over the next five days. Remember that specialized trajectory models have been very consistent with this forecast. To change this trajectory, there would need to be some very erratic movement, which is not anticipated at the moment. Likewise, there is also a fair amount of consensus among the intensity models. They predict rapid strengthening over the next three to four days. By Thursday night or Friday morning, it is expected to become a powerful Category 3 hurricane continuing to strengthen into a Category 4 or Category 5 hurricane over the weekend. A powerful hurricane is forecasted when it comes closest to the northeastern Caribbean, and this is the main reason why we continue to monitor it closely, even though we expect the center of circulation to pass at a distance from the local region. It will be a very powerful hurricane, so it could bring some effects in terms of rainfall and storm surge along the northern Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Some models even show the possibility that it could become a Category 5 hurricane at the beginning of next week, so potentially, Hurricane Lee could be the most intense hurricane of this season. Looking ahead to the long term, there is still uncertainty about exactly when it will turn northeast. This is why it's important for residents of the Bahamas and the eastern and northeastern United States to remain attentive to its evolution. However, we will have many days to monitor its progress. Interests in Bermuda should also remain alert to the future Hurricane Lee. Now, Let's take a look at the latest forecast from the most recent runs of the global models. Let's start with the European model. Remember that the European model has been the most accurate in predicting the progress of Tropical Storm Lee. In the midnight run, it continues to forecast that it will strengthen into a powerful hurricane as it moves west-northwest. It still projects that it will pass about 250 to 300 miles northeast of Puerto Rico. This model has been very consistent, predicting the same trajectory for days. As we can see in the last six runs, the changes in its forecast have been extremely minimal. Again, this gives us a lot of confidence in the forecast, and the probabilities are very high that it will pass to the northeast of the Caribbean. In the long term, as it moves north of the Bahamas, you can see that the European model has a tendency to strengthen the high-pressure system located northeast of the United States. This could potentially lead to a trajectory dangerously close to the eastern and northeastern United States. However, this is a forecast 9 to 12 days out, so there is still a lot of time to see exactly where this future hurricane will be passing. For the southeastern United States, including Florida, there is currently no associated risk with this tropical cyclone. As a prelude, I also want to mention that we will be monitoring another tropical wave next week. 
the models indicate the possible development of a new tropical cyclone that could have a slightly westward trajectory. However, we will have enough time to monitor its progress. Now, let's switch to the forecast from the GFS model. In today's morning run, it consistently strengthens Tropical Storm Lee into a hurricane today and then into a Category 4 hurricane when it is located northeast of the Caribbean, passing between 250 to 300 miles northeast of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico on Sunday. Like the European model, the GFS model has also been very consistent in its recent runs, with very small changes in its forecast. This also gives us high confidence in this forecast. Also, note that a new tropical wave will be coming out for the weekend, which we will be monitoring during the coming week. Similarly, in the long term, you can see that the GFS model takes the future Hurricane Lee on a northward movement, approaching the northeastern region of the United States. It is important for areas from Nova Scotia to the northeastern United States to stay alert to the evolution of this cyclone. Let's now discuss the potential effects that may be felt across the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, specifically during the weekend as the center of circulation passes to the northeast of the region. The GFS model is forecasting that during Saturday night, it will come closest to the Lesser Antilles. At the moment, tropical storm winds are expected to remain over the Atlantic waters. Similarly, the forecast from the European model also has the future Hurricane Lee passing about 250 to 300 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles during Sunday morning. Tropical storm winds would also remain over the Atlantic. The German model maintains a very similar forecast with a Category 4 hurricane moving northeast of the Caribbean and passing closest during Saturday night and Sunday morning. The Canadian model also aligns with this forecast. The best global models, the National Hurricane Center, and the specialized trajectory models all agree on this northeastward trajectory towards the Caribbean, but close enough to bring some indirect effects associated with storm surge that can affect the northern coast of the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. It could potentially be a significant event with high waves and storm surge, and some coastal flooding and hazardous conditions are anticipated over the Atlantic waters. Although, at the moment, the heaviest rainfall should remain over the Atlantic waters, it is possible that some outer bands could affect the northeastern Caribbean during the weekend and early next week. Some models like the GFS are predicting between 1 to 2 inches of cumulative rainfall that could affect us from Saturday to Tuesday. However, note that the heaviest precipitation is expected to remain quite distant from the Caribbean. In general, it is good news that it is expected to pass at a distance from the northeastern Caribbean. However, remember that the cone of uncertainty is quite broad, and we cannot rule out a slight westward shift, which could bring greater effects to the local region. The chances of the center of circulation passing directly over the northeastern Caribbean are extremely low, so it is almost certain that there will be no direct impact on the northeastern Caribbean. Nevertheless, with these phenomena, we must remain vigilant for any unexpected changes. Once again, we have a lot of confidence in this forecast. Well, that's all for the update on the almost Hurricane Lee. During the afternoon or evening, I will be recording a new video to provide another update. I hope everyone has an excellent day. Goodbye for now.